Welcome to this video, this is the next episode in the series. This time it is the British Tier 9 tank destroyer, the Tortoise. This time it's being driven by a player going by the name of Danny Bryden. And uh, we are here on Siegfried line. Um, nice evenly matched team, 50% win chance. This is assault mode, which I personally hate, but hey ho. Let's see how it goes. Just speeding up to get through this replay. We'll get through the uh, initial countdown. You can see he's actually running uh, coffee on his tank to make it a little bit faster. Quite a sensible decision, I think, with a machine like the AT, like the Tortoise, some of the uh, the AT15 family. Initially, he's pushing up here. You almost always get people rushing down this road in the middle on this map. Spots a T34, clutch shot turning round, hits him. It's a nice bit of shooting, 330 damage, and he kills him. Look at the map, look at the uh, the Lerva, the IS-3 and the KV-4 and just uh, just remember them. They'll, uh, they'll, they'll come into play later, so to speak. He comes up here, slowly, slowly, but slow and sure. Backs off because the guy in front takes a hit. He's trying to tell the T-34 to fall, fall back, but he's not listening. Fires at the tiger and misses. Don't know where that shot went. Tries to aim for his commander's hatch, but bounced that shot. But the incredible DPM of this gun means he's reloaded very quickly. Bounces a shot off the side of the Lerva there. But, uh, bounces a return shot from the Tiger 2 at him. Aims for the Tiger's hull and penetrates. Sees the, uh, the IS-3 there who manages to track him but gets it repaired very quickly. Backs up. Goes for a shot. Ah, the IS-3 backs up. He's pushing slowly up on this corner. Sees a KV-4. Bounces off his, uh, what looked like his, the uh, tracks of the KV-4. Lerva pops up there. And he takes the Lerva out. That's his second kill of the game. Goes for the KV-4, goes for his hatch on the top of his turret, and that penetrates. At this point we're losing 4-8. Oh, they are, sorry, not we are. Backs up 4 9 because he sees some people coming around there. Which are the, the other side of the hill from him. Hits that IS 3. Who uh, blows his tracks off. Takes the IS 3 out of the game. It's backing up, looking, looking to see what's going on. There's a Tiger 2, he bounces, but uh, Danny doesn't. Losing 5 10. The Lerva and the KV 4 are still camping at the back there. Why you're camping in a KV 4, who only knows. 
fires up the ice three but misses. The ice three is dead anyway. The lerva gets him. It still hasn't taken any damage. So his tracks knocked off. It's pinging the map desperately for that lerva and KV four to do anything, but nope. As I said earlier, they spend the entirety of the game camping. But I don't think that lever that lever probably hasn't even moved since the beginning of the game. And yes, well said, T thirty four. So he turns around here to try and put pressure on. His tiger comes out. He pens him. Tiger bounces, nicely angled. Takes out the tiger. There's another tiger too over there. He's got him tracked on the corner. He's obviously got a good repair crew. Comes round and takes him out. So that's five kills in the tortoise. Comes round. There's a nice arse of a conqueror. Takes him out. Ninety only ninety-one damage, but they're pretty nasty tanks. Penetrates the side of the IS-3 there. Comes around here looking to see what we can find. There's a super pushing around there. Tries to go for the shot through the building but misses. Unfortunate that. Comes round, sees the IS-3, YOLOing, fires at him, the IS-3 finally realises he's there, but it's too late. That shot penetrates, but it leaves him on some health. Unfortunately, the Super Pershing has got his number. The uh, IS-3 penetrates him there. Not sure who did the first penetrating hit, but oh well. Well, he's just taken out the IS-3, the KV-4's completely not looking until now. KV3 gets penetrated, KV4 sorry, gets penetrated again. Gets shot in the arse by the Super Pershing but gets his track, uh, it tracks him, gets his tracks up very quickly, turns around to deal with the Super Pershing and there we are. It's now winning 14-13. After an epic fight on that corner, all the enemy have got left is a tier 6 Sherman. Not the biggest of threat. In fact, that tier 6 Sherman was actually in a failed platoon. Sherman hasn't been seen all game according to him. The KV4 finally decides he's actually going to do something useful. And pushes up. Slowly, as is typical in a KV4, they're not the fastest machine. The Sherman's spotted. Backing up, backing up. Uh, there we are, he's spotted now. Takes his tracks off. The wreck's obscuring the rest of his hull, so he moves up. One shot. Second shot. Oh, talk about bad luck. Leave him on 1%. He's trying to set him on fire, but it's not working. Takes him out. Game over. And uh, let's take a look at the post-game stats. <laughs> 